Brought to you by the Oklahoma Department of Environmental Quality. The instructions for the collection and submittal of total coliforms. These samples must be received by the laboratory within 28 hours of collection. Sample collection kits are mailed out by DEQ based on your required sampling schedule. You may request a kit by contacting the State Environmental Laboratory by calling 1-866-412-3057 or emailing us at selsd at deq.ok.gov. When you receive your sampling kit, check the contents for the following. Sample collection bottles with intact sterility seals. Bottles are provided at the beginning of each sampling cycle in bulk or as needed in scheduled kits. Barcode labels, chain of custody paperwork, sample collection instructions. Step 1. Select the faucet from your approved TCR distribution sites for the sample collection. Avoid faucets with a swivel control. Step 2. Remove the aerator from the faucet spout. Most just unscrew or twist out. Step 3. Use straight bleach or alcohol to clean the faucet threads inside and out. Step 4. At a different faucet, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water before collecting a sample. Step 5. Turn on the cold water at the faucet that you will use to collect the sample. Allow the water to flow for 3 to 5 minutes before sampling. Step 6. Open the sample collection container by removing the sterility seal. Do not touch inside the lid or bottle. This could contaminate your sample. Step 7. Do not remove the pill inside the bottle. This is a preservative. Carefully fill the bottle slightly above the 100 milliliter fill line indicated on the bottle. Step 8. Replace the cap and securely fasten. Try not to over tighten. This could break the lid. Step 9. For compliance samples, barcode labels are provided in your sample kit. If you are sampling non-compliance, print a generic chain of custody if not provided. Please write on the bottle and chain of custody to document the following. Site location, PWSID number, collection date and time, collector's initials. Step 10. For compliance samples, the chain of custody needs to have the following information completed. Collector's name, date and time of collection, sample point ID, chlorine residual, sample site description. For non-compliant samples, you need to fill out the following information on the generic chain of custody. The name of the sample collector. The address is the facility ID, for example, DS001. The sample description is the location code, the date and time of collection. Testing required is total coliforms. If you need to collect additional samples, repeat the previous steps for collection and paperwork. If you are mailing your samples to DEQ, you'll need to sign and date the bottom of the chain of custody paperwork on the line labeled relinquished by. If you are hand delivering the samples, the person delivering the samples will sign this at the receiving window of the sample management unit. If mailing your samples, place your chain of custody paperwork in a Ziploc bag. 
If the samples leak in transit, this will protect the paperwork. Put the bottles and Ziploc bag of paperwork in the shipping container provided with DEQ kits and mail it to DEQ as soon as possible. Address labels are provided with DEQ kits. If you are delivering your samples to DEQ, bring your samples and paperwork to the sample management unit on the first floor. Our sample management hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Just a reminder that samples must be received within 28 hours of collection, be properly filled no less than 100 milliliter fill line, be accurately labeled with your barcode or permanent ink description, have complete chain of custody paperwork, do not freeze the samples. Your samples may be rejected if they do not meet these criteria.